Okay. Uh, yesterday afternoon, approximately uh, a few minutes before five o'clock, a uh, 911 call was received by uh, Clark County 911 dispatch about a body being found uh, adjacent to the adjacent to the railroad track uh, just south of the junior high school here in Quitman. Uh, Quitman police officers responded to the scene as well as uh, emergency medical personnel. Uh, and once uh, upon their arrival, they did find that uh, the individual was deceased, uh, laying in a wooded area just east of the railroad, uh, which was in a pretty deep uh, area from the railroad track. Has that person been uh, identified? Yes, he has. Uh, 30 year old black male, Takarius Moore uh, from Shibuta. Yes. Is there any idea how he got by those railroad tracks? Does it look like something? Uh, uh, what type of injuries did he receive to get to that point? Uh, information we obtained during this investigation on Tuesday afternoon around 2.20 p.m. Deputy Bradley McNeese worked for the Clark County Sheriff's Office, uh, approached the vehicle coming south on uh, State Highway 145 in the city limits equipment. Uh, the vehicle was driving pretty erratic past uh, two motor vehicles and an RV. Uh, he turned around on the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle tried to elude Deputy McNeese. They wound up on Thompson Avenue, which is not far from the railroad track. The vehicle came to a stop on Thompson Avenue. Two individuals exited the vehicle and fled the scene. He requested backup to help get these two individuals apprehended. Had no idea why they were running. Uh, upon arrival of other officers, uh, probably 30 minutes later, we were able to take one of the individuals into custody. Uh, as far as my knowledge, no one ever had sight of the other individual. And uh, at this point, uh, you know, we have turned this investigation over to the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, and I would forward all questions to them. Uh, but the investigation is still in the preliminary stages. The body has been sent to Jackson for an autopsy, and that will determine the cause of death. All right. Do you, can you explain what types of injuries at all? I did not see any injuries upon my arrival to where the body was at. I did not see any injuries that were visible to this young man. And those two individuals in that car could be related to the death of Takarius Moore? The two individuals in the car, one of them we believe was the driver, the other one we do believe was to carry us more. And the driver is the one that's in custody? The driver is the one that's in custody. Can and you release his name? I don't have it available, but I'll, I'll get it before you leave. Is he considered a suspect or he's just in, in questioning at this point? Uh, no, he is not considered a suspect in this. Uh, we, we do not anticipate any foul play in this. Uh, uh, it appears that it could be an accidental death. And, uh, but that's too early to tell. Uh, we'll wait on the autopsy remorse, uh, results before we make that determination. Like I say, uh, Mississippi Bureau of Investigation is handling this investigation. Anything else you want to add, Sheriff Kent? No. There was a female occupying the vehicle, also a four to five year old child that was unrestrained in a child's seat. Uh, but they were unharmed. The female uh, never exited the vehicle, nor did the child. Uh, so um, we have no idea why the individual was running other than the fact that he didn't have any driver's license and had no idea why Mr. Moore was running. 